Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 8. Before we get started, let's go ahead and spend this one skill point that we have. So I'm going to go into Intellect Level 4 and now we can go into Advanced Engineering Level 2, which will unlock the workbench. But we don't have any skill points left, so we're going to try and get one of those this morning because we are not that far away from leveling up again. So we're going to do some upgrading to the barn here until we grab that level so we can unlock the workbench and get one crafting. We got our skill point and got a decent amount of work done. Let's go advanced engineering level two to unlock the workbench. That also unlocks the cement mixer, but we already found the schematic for the cement mixer. Gotta craft the workbench first either way because you have to craft the cement mixer in the workbench. Got all the materials we need, which is forged iron, mechanical parts, we also need a wrench and a hammer and wood, which we already have in our inventory. Now I'm going to put my wrench and my hammer in storage for now, so I don't use those to craft the workbench. I want to use these, since the health of those two tools is less. And uh, here we go. Bam! Workbench. Sweet. Let me grab my tools back. Put away these supplies here. And then I guess we'll just hit the road. I don't feel like waiting around for that workbench to finish. Still got a decent amount of time there, so we'll let that continue to craft. And we'll come back later, we'll put that down, and we'll get a cement mixer crafting. Let's check on our crops real quick. Looks like everything is still growing. So we'll let that grow. And the first place we are going this morning is to get a bunch of rotten flesh. I was thinking about it, and I was like, where can we go? to get a decent amount of that stuff. And I was thinking about all the POIs we've been to already, and I was like, oh shit, I know where we can go. Oh, we got a good amount of it in the street, but that's not what I was thinking. This POI up ahead, that's what I was thinking. There's something underneath this POI that's waiting for us that's gonna get us a bunch of rotten flesh. And it's the reason I brought a pistol with me this morning. I know I don't usually harvest these stone pallets, but since we're crafting a cement mixer today, I want to make sure we have a bunch of stone on us so we can craft some crushed sand and concrete later on today. Start getting our base upgraded to concrete instead of cobblestone. All right, let's take apart this workbench and this cement mixer. Neither of them work. And we'll dig up this cement. There's also some cement around the front side of this building. And we'll get down into the POI, to the meat and potatoes, to the reason why we're here in the first place. Ah, uh, we're waking up zombies. That's fine. Let them come get some. Oh shit, are these supposed to be steps? There's gotta be something up there then, right? Let's check. Sports bag. I'll search it. Flashlight. All right. Oh, here are our friends. Finally made it. Whoops. <laughs> that guy got pushed down. Come on, let me see you walk across this little beam. Oh, you're going for the big one? You pussy. Actually, I don't blame him. I don't do well with heights either. And I've told this story before on this channel, but I'll tell it again. When I was like 18 or 19, I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. I mean, shit, I still don't know what I'm going to do with my life. <laughs> or what I am currently doing with my life. But back then, I was young and I was arrogant and I was willing to do anything for a buck. You know, and my, um, 
well, he was my wife's stepfather. Uh, she wasn't my wife at the time, obviously. But he was an iron worker in Queens. And he was like, come with me. You can, uh, I, I'll get you in the union. You'll start off making like 25 bucks an hour through training. And eventually you'll be making like 60, 70, 80 bucks an hour. More with overtime. I was like, shit, sign me up. He's like, you know what you'll be doing? I was like, I don't give a fuck what I'll be doing. For 80 bucks an hour, I'll fucking do anything. And he was like, uh, yeah, look at that picture up there. And he had the picture of all the iron workers sitting on the, the, the beam eating their lunch. And he goes, that'd be you right there in the middle. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't think I can do that. And I didn't. But kudos to all the iron workers that do. You gotta have some iron balls be walking around up there on those fucking beams. All right, here we go. We shouldn't have any zombies to deal with. I think we woke them all up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this cobblestone and cement down here. There's plenty of that stuff, but I'm gonna skip these stone pallets. I think we got plenty of stone for now. Plus, I'm gonna start a mine underneath the barn real soon, and that'll get us all the stone we're ever gonna need. Scrap the can, take the duster. All right, now the bodies start out here. We can harvest these, but all you get is uh, nitrate powder and bones. Right? It's the it's the full bodies where you get flesh. These right here. But that's not what's going to give us the majority of rotten flesh. What's going to give us the majority of rotten flesh is the zombie bear that's down this fucking cave. Please don't wake it up. Please don't wake it up by harvesting these bodies. All right. I'm going to put in a little wall right here, running diagonal. We might as well upgrade them. We got the cobblestone. Even though I think we can take this bear out pretty quickly with this 9mm. Let's wake it up. Bing. Oh, shit. Oh my god. It looks like it can get over, but it can't. And that's it. Simple as that. Sweet. Alright, uh, we can just dig underneath this middle one. And because the blocks are running diagonally, they're not connected to each other. So once we get under this middle one, it'll just fall out. Much easier than breaking the block apart. Whoops. I guess wait till it falls before you walk through it. Nice. Big chunk of rotten flesh right there. And testosterone, which we're going to need to craft a cigar. So that's good. 69 pieces of rotten flesh. Now the cigar, we need to find the schematic first before we can craft one. But once we do, we'll have the testosterone we need already to get one crafted. And look, we can get a little more rotten flesh here as well. And some loot. Beer. You know, someone asked me why I'm not using beer. Uh, I gotta scrap that chicken stock. We can't eat it. Because beer does help with the brawler perk. And my answer is, um... You get blurred vision from beer. And that would just be annoying as shit for you guys if I was constantly drinking beer and the, the footage was constantly being blurred. But once we find that brawler book... Oh shit, I forgot some cement here. Let's grab this. Uh, there's a brawler book out there that removes the blurred vision from drinking beer. So once we can find that book, then yes, I will start bringing beers with me out during the day. And we can drink those to enhance our fighting ability but you got to be careful you don't want to drink too many beers because if you get drunk then you get a reduction in stamina i believe and maybe health too i don't know hey you want to get some more rotten flesh i'm familiar with this poi and i know as soon as we walk in there two dogs are gonna rush us so let's make sure we're loaded up here and we'll go kill those bastards here we go Oh, shit. Slow down, you fucks. Dead. 
dead. Oh, thank God for that plant. All right. Got a zombie at the back door, but we didn't wake up any in the house. Let's go ahead and chop these dogs up, and then we'll get out of here. We're going to stop home, drop off some loot. Uh, I want to get some farm plots crafted and get some seeds planted. And then maybe we'll come back to this house and raid it. Ah, pasta ravioli. You know what, you sons of bitches, I guess I'm gonna scrap it. After all the junk I talked in the last episode about the ravioli being stuffed with cheese and not meat, I totally forgot that pasta is made with eggs. Unless it's whole wheat pasta, but I doubt that's whole wheat ravioli. Oh, got a zombie. Oh, she beating on the front door? Eh, let her do it. But anyway, on top of the pasta being made with eggs, apparently, even if it is stuffed with cheese, vegans have a problem with cheese, too. So, we can't eat the can of pasta anymore. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with cheese. What do vegans even eat? Should we just start eating cloth? Is that good? Is that what they eat? Or no, because... That would be exploiting cotton. Maybe we should just start eating broken glass. Then at least we won't have to worry about all these stupid fucking rules anymore. Oh, that corn looks ready to go. And it is. Everything else, uh... Is still growing, though. Alright. Let's go make some farm plots and do some farming, baby. That'll be a good spot for the workbench for now. We can always move it if we want to, since we have a land claim block put down. Let's get these uh, ingredients here for the cement mixer. And get this thing moving. Bam! Cement mixer. Okay, let's get some concrete moving. We need cement, and sand, and stone. Let's get as much concrete mix moving as we can, and then about 500 pieces of sand. We'll save the rest of that stone for later. Okay, let's roll. I guess we'll go back to the doghouse. Finish looting that place, and then we'll just see what time it is. Uh, well, it's almost already hour 17, so I'm sure by the time we're done looting that place, it'll probably be night by then. Here we are. We'll start with the garage, even though it's small and there's not much in here. But size doesn't matter, right, ladies? Right, ladies? Okay, back again. Almost hour 18, let's try and get through this place quickly. Scrap that brass, take the glass jar. Oh, hey lady, I heard you waking up. Come to get your ass kicked? Well, you came to the right place. We're almost done with this kitchen here. I think we are done. All right, uh, I got this recipe here. Oh, it only sells for 40 bucks. We'll just read it for the XP then. Let's continue on. Yucca seed. All right, I'll take that. Matter of fact, we should probably plant some yucca in our farm. We'll do that. Um, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys, because a lot of people have been asking me if I was playing uh, Icarus. We should probably be taking these radiators apart. We skipped one in the front of the house. We'll go grab that one too. And yes, I did pre-order Icarus and I have been playing the beta and I'm enjoying it. It's cool. It kind of reminds me of Substance. Is that the right name for that game? Whereas, oh shit, boom, he just got hit with a wrench, bitch. That backed him up actually. Um, it kind of reminds me of that game because it's like you versus the environment. Um, and there's wolves and there's bears. And those are really the only threats other than the storms that roll through. 
And and it's dude, it looks fucking fantastic. It, it's super polished for a beta. Uh, I'm excited to play the full version. I know there's a lot more content coming. I hope there are other things to explore other than just the wilderness. For me, the wilderness alone doesn't really do it, you know? I like a world with buildings and stuff to explore and places to loot and things to get, not just like what I can make out of what the wilderness has to give me, if that makes sense. I mean, that's a cool game if you're playing with a bunch of friends, but if it's just you out in the middle of the woods alone, it gets a little boring for me if the whole point of the game is to just gather resources and build a base. If that's it and there's no other real threat other than like wildlife and the storms that roll through, it, it, I could see it getting a little boring, but I'm probably speaking out of turn here because, like I said, it's just the beta. We're just getting a glimpse of a little piece of the game. There's still a lot more uh, game and, and content left to come. And either way, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm not going to be posting any uh, video on it. Uh, come on, get up there. I'm not going to be posting any content on it during the beta. I'm just playing the game, learning the game, experiencing it, and as long as I continue to enjoy it... Hey, ladies! Goodbye, ladies! Then I'll I'll maybe do a series on it when the game launches uh, completely, which I believe is what, in November? I'm also thinking about bringing Battlefield content to this channel. And that's something I've really never focused on, you know, first-person shooter gameplay. Um, it's all been survival games for me, so that'll be interesting. I'm not sure if that's something you guys are going to dig or not, but we'll fuck around and make a video or two and see how it goes. Ooh, that's nice. Electric fence post schematic. I would like to add those to the bottom of the pit eventually once we get either a generator or a battery bank. Ooh, wall safe. We have one lockpick. We'll try our luck. Damn it! Let's see, was it worth it? Uh, sort of, not really. Okay. I'm assuming this is the way to go. It's got to be. Yep. Back in through the window. Oh, sneaky Kenny in the corner. Fuck off, Kenny. Oh, shit. Overalls. All right, we got to wear them. Let's take this pocket mod off the BDU bottoms. We'll put it on the overalls. There we go. Bam, former Glock looking right now. And the, the overalls aren't as good as the BDU bottoms, but who gives a shit? We gotta wear them. We're a fucking farmer. Sounds like we got some zombies coming. There's gonna be some more up here. Let's wake him up. Boom, dead. Let's go. Come on down here. Oh, here we go. Hey, friend, if you don't mind, could you step on that landmine right there? Oh, thank you. Appreciate the help, buddy. Oh, right over her head. Damn it. Will you stop squirming around while I'm trying to shoot you, lady? All right, that should be all of them. Let's grab this cobblestone real quick, and then we got a little kitchen area up here, which is nice because uh, we're a bit hungry right now. See if we can find some food we can use, and then we got the main stash, and then we can get out of here. Peas. It's not much, but it's something. We also just leveled up right there. So that's good. I'll spend that point right now, as a matter of fact. Oil. Nothing there. Okay, we're going to put that point into Grease Monkey level 1. That unlocks the bicycle. But maybe we'll skip the bicycle and just go right for the mini bike. 
That's going to require us to level up again, of course, but probably worth holding out for the mini bike. We'll see. I'll have to go through my inventory when we get home. If we have enough materials to craft four wheels, then maybe I'll go ahead and craft a bicycle because it might take us another day to level up again. And I'd hate to spend another day walking around. <laughs> you know, we could... About, what, are we going to craft a bicycle just for one day? You know? So these are things I got to stew over in my brain and see what I feel is is the best move. Uh, can I put that double storage pocket mod on anything? I don't have any room, but I'm going to replace the pocket mod with that. There we go. You know, hey, all this talk about the bicycle and the mini bike, we might actually level up again tonight because I got a lot of upgrading uh, I want to do with the concrete and we got a shit ton of cobblestone left. So you know what? That's what we'll do. We'll just, we'll, we'll do our best to level up again tonight, upgrading the shit out of the barn and the base. And then first thing in the next episode, we should be able to get that mini bike crafted. Another blunderbuss. Man, we must have found, what, two dozen blunderbusses so far in this series? Um, I can't scrap the sham yet, and I'm going to hold off on taking the beer. Let me go through the rest of the loot first, and then we'll come back to that stuff. Because on top of this crate, there's also a secret stash in the wall here. Okay. Pop this open. Secret stash right here. And it's a book. Inflict 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. Love it. Alright, let's grab that beer and the sham. We'll scrap it once uh, once we can do that. Alright. Let's get out of here. Damn, lady. It's like a fucking agent of the Matrix dodging bullets and shit. Let's grab our concrete and uh, sand out of the mixer. Then let's grab some cement and our stone out of here. Let's get more concrete mix moving. And then with the rest of the stone, we'll just make as much more sand as we can. Not bad. It's coming along. Still got some time before the next horde. I got to get uh, our forged iron and upgrade all these bars to iron here. And also some raw iron. Continue upgrading this roof here with that. We'll be looking good. Oh, I want to get these support poles here upgraded with the concrete. Which we have more of that working right now. So we can do that in a little bit. Let that continue to work. All right, uh, I got to get all this stuff uh, put away and organized. And then we'll continue doing some upgrading this evening and, and see if we can get that next level that we need to unlock the mini bikes so we can have a mini bike in the next episode. That'll be nice. No more of this walking shit. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.